Hi, we're Ben, Emily and this is Alan. For the last two years we've been travelling the UK waterways in our tiny floating home. We've seen many beautiful places, been through a lot of locks and cruised through and over some amazing feats of engineering along the way. Join us for the ups and downs, mainly ups, of life on board our narrowboat home. Hello. So last week you will have seen us arrive at Fradley Junction. That was yesterday to us. We're really low on water so we need to leave today. So we're going to head over to King's Orchard Marina, fill up with water, grab a gas bottle and then carry on. And it looks like it's going to rain so we want to get going soon. to a marina that isn't the one we were going to get water at but this does have water as well <laughs> so, really exciting stuff it's right on the canal it's so really easy yeah for us to do it here. it's just here rather than having to go into a marina so and we'll hopefully get some gas here as well okay so we've got we're filling up with water here yeah. for a bit we've got a gas bottle saves us manoeuvring around a marina which is pretty good probably add an hour to the yeah to the trip <laughs> if we do that <laughs> right i'm gonna get some breakfast me too so we just as you saw we just stopped at street hay wharf can't recommend them enough they were so lovely let's fill up with water and that was the most high pressure hose it yeah, that, filled that's our the tank fastest it's ever filled up what was it like 25 minutes Less, or something i'd say it's about 20 minutes at least full Usually from empty it can take about two hours sometimes <laughs> it was insane Really lovely people anyway. Right, I'm going back inside to carry on editing this week's video. You are right out here? Yeah, all good, all good. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so we're just coming into Whittington now and I believe this is where we're gonna stop and moor up for a little while. Okay, we found somewhere. We are moored up. In Whittington? Whittington. Now I just need to go get the van. Oh yeah. That'll be me. That's you, this time. Hello. Well, we've had an afternoon of working and sorting things out and Benny went and got the van. And now we're off to, towards Burton-upon-Trent to, what is it called? The Pickle, the Pickle, the Pickle. Branston. Branston Water Park, that's where Adam and Lauren from the Floating Home are and they are cooking in us an Indian feast tonight. So that's where we're off to now. We're here. Hello. Hello. Hi guys. Who is it? Hi. Hello, we missed you. Missed Come you. to Rizzi. <laughs> Looks insane. Oh, Come that's buddy. made it harder. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Give, take his hand, maybe, Luz. I'll be okay. Hey. I've only had. We're back. We had such a great time that we forgot to film the rest of the evening, but it was brilliant. The food was amazing. It was lovely to see Adam and Lauren. But it is time for bed now. So good night. Good morning. I've just moved us to Hopwas. I think it took about 40 minutes. It was a really nice cruise actually, just through quite a lot of woods and open fields. It was really beautiful. And we just went through like a danger zone. It was marked as on the map, which I think is like um, a, mir yeah, it's a military shooting range. There's like red flags and stuff. Anyway, we're just right on the outskirts of a tiny village called Hopwas and we've been recommended to stop here because it's really nice woods to go for walks in and stuff so yeah it seems really lovely so we're gonna have some lunch Anne's having her usual explore oh no she's back where we were moored up before we were under a tree where loads of birds have pooed down the boat I'll show you it's horrible look at the state of that 
so I best clean it off. It's sunny at last. So we are still in Hop Wars and we've decided that we're going to start thinking about repainting the boat. So we're not taking it back to metal, we're literally just going to do a new top coat because we're painting exactly the same colour as before. So today I'm going to start doing a little bit of prep. I just need to wash the boat and like go over any bits that, like any little dots of rust and stuff take those out, put some fur tan on it and then red oxide it tomorrow once the fur tan's come off. Fur tan is like a rust converter, I think that's what you call it. You stick it on rusty stuff, obviously you need to take as much of the rust off as you can and then, um, I don't know, some magic happens and then it takes, it changes the rust kind of back to metal. I don't really understand it. Um, but then you have to paint like a primer over that so yeah, I'm just gonna wash the boat. Alan was out here with me, but she thought I was gonna give her lunch early, so she's just run back inside. I think our plan is when there's days when we can do it, we're gonna do it and we're gonna do as much as we can. So we might only do like half of the boat at a time, um, but that's the best we can do with the time we've got. It begins. Well, believe it or not, I've washed the boat. <laughs> doesn't really look any better. Yeah, we can't really paint it here because the trees are like shedding all these bits. You're helping, Alan. It's such a nice day. Why don't you come outside? You're so silly. You're waiting for your lunch, aren't you? All right, I'll come and feed you. No. That one. It's happening. Benny's got the sander out. It's time to do some sanding. He's gonna sand. In entire no more side procrastination. of procrastination. Action. Action, only action. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out why I bothered washing the boat. It does look slightly better, but now we're going to sand it. Oh, Benny is. Yeah, sanding it's just like a scour wash, isn't it? It's like washing yourself with one of those Brillo pads. Brillo pads, yeah. Is it working? Uh, That's going to take ages if we do it on that mode. So we've kind of given up with the orbital sander just because the solar panels are now in the shade so we haven't got enough power. It's actually really good doing it by hand anyway, it's sort of faster weirdly. So Benny's just doing that and I'm just going over any tiny little dots of rust with some fur tan and then I can paint that with red oxide tomorrow and then, which is Wednesday, and then Thursday hopefully we're going to try and move somewhere where we can get... Oh hi Alan, alright somewhere we can paint the boat because here it is especially windy today but loads of dust and little bits are falling off the trees so it's just going to stick to the new paint <laughs> so yeah you're all right you're going to come outside you had your lunch haven't you come on let's go outside all right there we go it's all sanded down this side it looks so weird it looks kind of pink So now I'm gonna wipe it down. Thursday or Friday, hoping to paint it, aren't we, Benny? Yeah. <laughs> yep, made some good progress though. We've sanded, that's, that's a good start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you've, you've basically done it, I've hardly done any. Our pump's broken again, well. We don't know if it's broken, but there's no pressure. It's not turning on. We were wiggling the pressure gauge thing and that was working, but now it's just stopped. And we think it's the accumulator tank has no pressure in it, which is that. So, scary stuff. We've got to repressure it, repressurize it. And Alan's got her box. Do you like it in there? But I'm scared of pressure things because I don't want anything to pop. Yeah. <gasps> oh okay, God, yeah, so it was at nothing and now it's at like 8 psi. Okay, so is that about right? Um, 
don't know if it's right, but it's something. So let's, right, let me just try and fathom what the hell this means again. Okay, so nothing happening. So. Okay, nothing's still happening. So do you need to change the pressure on the pump now because you turn that right down? Maybe, but would you go and turn a tap on? Yeah, I can't do the washing up because there's no water. Oh, oh, that's yeah, it. I think that is going to do something. Okay. So I just heard it jib a little bit, so I'll just put a bit more pressure in. Okay. So you're just changing the pressure on the pump now, aren't you? Yeah, it's still not working. We don't know why, because that the accumulator tank is now supposedly at the right pressure. I'm wondering if the pump has died. So, Benny, what's the update? Adam's just <laughs> suggested we try taking the pump off, putting it on the battery, like putting the cables to the battery, and if it switches on, then then we know it's not broken. But I'm starting to think that it is broken. Adam also said to check the back of that switch there. Yeah, I've already done that. Yeah, and I've it? sprayed right. it with contact cleaner. That all looks fine. Okay. It's actually been... Yeah. So we just need to go to Chandler's, on. don't we, and grab a new pump? If it doesn't work, yeah. The other thing is, it, I guess it could be the accumulator. Yeah, but it, that's kept its pressure for ages now. It's been pumped up for yeah, an hour it and it hasn't changed pressure. at all, has it? So, no. and I think that if, yeah, I don't know, I feel like you'd be able to hear pressure maybe, like hear air coming out of it or something. Yeah. I'm off to the Chandler's to get a new pump. We put that pump on the battery and it didn't work, so I think we need a new pump. He's back. Did you get a new pump for us? Yeah, I got a pump. And then I realised it was the wrong one. So I swapped it for the right one. Oh good. <laughs> well actually, yeah, this is the one, the same version of what we've got, but unbroken hopefully. You put it in? Yeah. Oh yeah, it works baby. Oh my God, it sounds so different. It, well, the stop cock is on at the minute. Yeah, but it, it doesn't sound I know. It does horrible. Sound, it does sound different, doesn't it? <clears throat> it's probably how it's supposed to sound. Alan, it works. Okay. Taps are off and stuff. Um, no, it didn't matter that much. I think so, yeah. <gasps> right, I'll plug this back in so we can keep our eye on the pressure. That's the um, tie pump thing to see what pressure the accumulator is. That's what Benny's talking about. It's still saying 20. Must have been the pump just done, wasn't it? Oh, amazing. Right, one minute. I'm going to go check the tap. Yes! We have water. Seems to be fixed. Yes. You can have a wash now, Benny. It's yes. only two o'clock. You've been doing this all day. Yeah, now what was I going to do with my day? Hmm. Can't even remember. Wash your hair? Oh, yeah, that was it. <laughs> have a wash. Well done. No, Thanks I was so gonna much. Do something. I was oh, you're going to do some great stuff. Okay. Right, lunch is ready anyway. Now, what are you doing? Right, so this desk, we're getting a new desk today. We're getting one. We're getting one made. You mean me. you've already made one, haven't you? Yeah, I've, well, I've made the tabletop, but I just need to do the legs. And it's going to be folding too. Although I've just remembered I don't have... I need to get two more hinge. Oh no, I bought two! It's going to happen! <laughs> so you done it? Done. It's you, done. You've kind of put it all away so you can't see, but it's, um, it's a fold-out table. Yeah, and it's got shelves behind what's folded down. Oh, it's just going to be so nice to have a it's bit of floor space. Yeah. Thanks, Benny. It's a beautiful morning here in Hopwas. We're about to move down the way a little bit because today we're painting the boat. We're going to make a start on it, but we're not going to do it around all these trees because of all the bits that are falling off of them. It's a little bit windy, but it's a really sunny day, so it should be an ideal day for us to make a start on this big job that we've been waiting quite a while to do. Okay, let's get going. Yeah, you are. 
so I've found somewhere to moor. As you can see, it's a lot more open here, so we shouldn't get so many problems from the trees. There are some trees still, but they're a bit further away, so I think we should be all right. It's quite a nice height from the side, so we can get to the side of the boat. Just need to cut it back a bit, which I'm gonna do now. So first we're giving it another wipe down, and then we're gonna use some sugar soap to wash it again, then tack cloth it to get the rest of the dust off. And then we'll paint. What a nice spot. Okay, so if we, we've washed the boat down as thoroughly as we can, and shortly we're going to begin the painting. So we're going for exactly the same colour. I feel like it's, it is the same colour, but it's different because it's <laughs> new. Oh God. You're going for it. It's very runny. Okay. Okay, let's go, Benny, let's go. <laughs> oh, it's on. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just going to do a little strip at a time. I know there's going to be a lot of people screaming at us on the TV, saying we're doing it wrong. Well, this is how we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We've overcome inertia and okay. it's happening. Well, I need that paintbrush now, so. Right, you have those. So we've done a coat of the red, we're going to leave that and now we're going to paint up to the gunnels with this black paint. It's a hammerite metal paint, some people have recommended it. Some people haven't recommended it as well but, but that's going what we're going to gonna do. do. We're going to do it. So it's all prepped, it's all ready for us to give it a paint. Right, well we've got our first coat on. We've done the red, you might notice. Quite a difference. We've painted up to the gunnels and the gunnels with black, which makes the boat look completely different. This all needs, obviously, the black needs another coat, and then we're going to do at least another two coats, I reckon, of the red. So we've made pretty great progress today. We've done a coat on one whole side of the boat, of the black and the red. How do you feel it has gone? I think, think it looks better. I think it looks great. <laughs> it's still a little bit patchy at the minute with it being the first coat, but even if it stays patchy, it's such a step up from what it looked like before. Yeah, so definitely. I think it's great. I think we've done a brilliant job, really. Woohoo! We've yeah. made progress. It's going to rain tomorrow, so we're going to have to wait a few days now. So hopefully, it's not going to take too long for us to get the rest of it done, but it might because it's all weather dependent and where we can moor, it's good. Yeah, we're nearly in Tamworth now, aren't we? And we've obviously yeah. never been this way before, so we don't know what to expect. It's the day after we painted the boat. It rained a lot, but the paint seems fine. But we've just, we're just getting on with some other things. Emily just pointed out this lamb and sheep. You've got to check this out, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Mm. So it was supposed to be raining today, but it's not. So, we're going to do a second coat on the boat of paint. I realised the other day when we were talking about painting the boat, we haven't actually explained that we've only done one side. We haven't done the other side yet because obviously we can't get to it. So we do this side and then when either the towpath changes side, which it does sometimes, uh, we can do the other side, 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 um, or we can turn the boat round um, and do it like that. But yeah, so we've only done one side, but we're really happy. Saying. Yeah. I don't know. I was, you know, we've been talking about painting Some the boat. Some people so. do it. They just hang off the bar and swing like no, a monkey with the don't. paintbrush. No, they don't. Of course they do. Anyway, yeah, let's get it done. We're gonna have to do another what? At least two coats, I reckon, after this one. So four in total, maybe five. It's looking good. It's gonna look great. Yay! You have your coffee. Are you keeping an eye on us, Alan? So it feels a bit of a shame, we've got a nice shiny boat and then we've got to make it all scratched again so that the next layer of paint will stick. It's fine, that's what, what we've got to do. 
How's it going, Benny? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be sweet. It's looking so much better already. We know it's not going to be perfect, but definitely better. What happened, Alan? <laughs> oh, Alan just slipped in. <laughs> Are you all right, mate? Maybe we should put her on the roof so that she doesn't right. get wet in the boat. Oh, look! Oh, my God! <laughs> Don't fall on the other side! It's because she can't see this bit where it's Yeah, she just, just... <laughs> just misjudged it and flopped in just on the back end. She was just here. <laughs> she just flopped in. Anyway, we've just got this bit to do now. Oh, look at that soggy tail. Are you licking it dry? Oh, my poor kitty. Okay, she's grumpy. <laughs> oh, oh, look. She's got a floppy tail. Soggy, floppy tail. Got lots of new flowers in my garden. Very happy with those. And my blueberry plant's coming. Coming along. It's getting his leaves out. And look, my radishes. I can't actually remember what they are. <laughs> Whoops. Got lettuce. It's nice to have a bit of greenery on the boat though. Well, at least it's nice and warm for you to dry dry out here, Alan. Right, ready for the second coat? Oh yeah. Right, we're all prepped. Let's get going. We've done the second coat and it's looking pretty good. There are a few insects stuck to it this time. We only had one fly stuck to it on the first coat, but there's a few today, but it's really not that bad. Um, so Benny's making some lunch now and I'm gonna start taping off the roof where the gray begins. We didn't really know what to do. The reason we haven't done a coat on that yet is because we weren't sure if we were gonna be repainting the whole roof. Uh, one colour but we've decided that we are gonna keep it as it is and then at some point when we've got time repaint the grey in like a cream colour or something but for now I'm gonna yeah mask off where the grey stops and that's all prepped the red bit that's all prepped already uh, just need to tack cloth it and then we can put a coat on that obviously we're gonna need to do more coats than one because it needs it. The sides have already got two coats on, but it'll be all right. And then while I'm painting that, I think Benny's going to do another coat on the gunnels with the black. And we've left, so we, have, we haven't we have got tunnel, I think they're called tunnel bands. It's where they're sort of curved, sorry, there. We're not really sure what we're going to do. That was what the last owners did. They finished it like that. So we're not sure what we're going to do with that yet. So we're just sort of leaving it like that for now. We'll figure it out later. And Alan, you dry now? That was a bit, she just sort of flopped in slowly. She didn't even really seem that panicked when she fell in the water. <laughs> Is that the third or the fourth time you've fallen in? <laughs> in one day. It's no good going in, is it, Alan? <laughs> Rubbish. We don't like it, do we? Oh. Did you go right in? I mean, your trousers are pretty... Running up to there, where it's wet. See? It's a bit slippy. Um, thanks for my drink. It's looking good. So we've got two two coats on the cabin sides, one coat on the top strip there because I don't know why we didn't do it the other day. And then two coats of 
the black on the gunnels and I need to wipe all this down, it's had fur tan on it and then I'm going to paint it with red oxide, all that, all that panel there. It's exciting isn't it Benny? Yeah, it's looking great isn't it? Should we go for a walk? Come on then. I feel good every day I watch the morning sunlight Drive Have you put your wellies on just in case you fall in again? No, these are my only shoes right now. Oh, okay. Right, I'm going to clean this up and paint it. Is that black wet still? Alan, don't jump up there. No, no. Stay off the gunnel. Okay, I've painted it with the red oxide. You might be thinking, why did we not just do this whole thing in one go? It's because I had prepped the whole boat on this side, apart from that bit. So we had to wait an extra day to be able to paint that with a primer because we needed to put fur tan on it, which is like um, a rust converter thing and you need to leave that on for 24 hours and then you need to be able to wash it off and dry it and then you can paint it. So that's why we're a bit behind on that section. But it doesn't matter anyway because there's the line, which also we're not keeping this line by the way. That is just um, somewhere to paint the black up to for now. I think we're going to do like a curve, I think, like that. Yeah, so happy. I think we've done a pretty okay job. <laughs> like we've, I'll try and show you the finish, considering we've never painted a boat before. Can you tell? There's no bubbles. There's just like a slight texture. We laid it off pretty well with a paintbrush. Benny did a really good job. So there's zero bubbles. Yeah. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> it looks totally different. Oh yeah, and another thing that people are gonna be really upset with us about is the fact that we didn't take the windows out. Well, there's no chance we were gonna do that because we didn't have time. And the last people who painted it got paint all over the window frames already. So I've just added to that. We're gonna have to uh, maybe get some paint remover and, and also we've heard like a wire wool will get it off. We've already taken, we've already sanded some of it and it does come off, so it's looking okay. Pretty happy with it. It's uh, hard work, but yeah, we've really enjoyed it actually. Come on. It's all right, you're not gonna fall in. Can't believe you and Benny both fell in today. I nearly did because I was stretching over here to try and paint this and then I realised I could just stand on the stern and lean over. Silly. I'm going to go and have a shower um, and I think we'll probably have dinner and watch a film and chill out or something. It's a really lovely spot but we do get bored quickly so we do want to move on but the next place is Tamworth so I don't know if we're going to go that far. Anyway, Benny's gone off with a chainsaw to find some wood. I'm just so happy it's not got all those blotches on it anymore with where the red oxide was. Thanks so much for watching. We really hope you've enjoyed this week's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Okay, see you next week. Bye.